got nothing for Minnesota. As we get better movement and as we uh, you know, move the ball in the final third, uh, in particular, driving to the end line creates good triangles for trying to get the ball into the goal. You know, again, it puts stress on the team. The team has to now not just defend with everything in front of them. Now they have to turn and run back. And you know, so we're really trying to emphasize just good movement in the offensive third. And some of that is driving to the end line and getting good crosses and uh, being dangerous. You know, it's one of our set plays where we have the option of playing short and then, you know, creating a little bit of space uh, with some of the guys because they had to come out to Miguel, which creates a little bit of uh, an opening for a good cross. And one of the things when you watch the play that I really liked is, you know, right off of Miguel's touch, you know, the guys who are running the box really were aware about how to run, how hard to run, and really in tune with the short play, play and short set piece play in terms of Miguel getting his first touch. And you just see the guys really running to good spaces. And, and Miguel's service kind of created, but again, Christie's not taking his eye off the ball, even with the other players kind of going up, uh, was really impressive. It really hurt because, again, we put a lot of work into the game to get up that goal, and uh, you know it would have been nice to see the game out. Um, having said that, you know it also, if you walk, look at the tape, you know we we didn't quite close as hard right off the kickoff as we should have. There's no doubt about it. You know we were a little bit stretched, and we allowed them to what I call get at us pretty quickly. Um, and then uh, there's a, a huge amount of luck in that because really Christie challenged and had a really good tackle uh, that instead of going out for throw-in or clearing up the field, went right back to the guy down the line with, with again, got us really stretched and out of position. So uh, a lot of different things uh, to create our bad luck there, but the reality was it was, it was tough because we were playing down a man and we got up a goal and, and mentally, you know, there maybe is a little bit of a, a break that, uh, you know, maybe happens, but it should, you know, and I think the guys are so disappointed because they realize right after that goal, you know, that's when you want to play even harder. And, um, you know, from that sense, mentally, um, you know, it was a lapsed moment. And I think it woke them up again and we finished off the game strong. We really laid down a man, worked really hard and limited their chances. But it, it was mentally exhausting because of all that drama that happened within those three or four minutes with us going up a goal, then giving up a goal. And then really uh, the stress is on to either try to win the game, which I thought we did a great job of, and try to not lose any points. So um, I was very proud of how the guys uh, managed that situation. Um, in terms of what we did, you know, we moved Max to wide left and we, we kind of played with a 4-4-1. We really had some nice moments where Callum drove through it a little bit. I thought Max did a valiant job. It was tough, it was a lot of work for him out there. Um, and we put Taka in to try to shore things up to make sure that we could see the game out. And we also put Simone in at the end to see if we could, could steal a goal. And I thought he did a really good job of being dangerous. And, you know, we could have had our chances to win. So um, overall, I was really pleased with how the guys responded to the adversity. Not, not happy with how we got the adversity. I'm very disappointed about the red card. But certainly happy that we um, responded and made sure we, we fought hard. I think our fans felt that.